Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, I'm going to show you what are the different options that we have in page layout and formatting. Alright guys, so in Power BI Desktop, it gives you an ability to actually control the layout and the formatting of your report pages such as size and orientation. Now if you like to see the size and the orientation, you simply have to go under the view tab and under the view tab, you will find an option called as page view. If you click on that drop down menu, you can see there are three options. By default, it is always fit to page, but if you like to change it, you can choose any of the options from here as well. Also, Power BI desktops gives you an ability to control the page size. If you move, uh, if you take your uh, formatting button to the paint brush, which you can see below the visualization pane, if you click on that visualization pane and if you go under the page sizes, if you click on that drop down menu, you can see there are so many bunch of options of the page size. By default, it will always take 16 to 9 aspect ratio, but you can select the page layout uh, or the size of the page according according to your own need using the page size drop down menu. Now let's go ahead and see what are the different page formatting options we have in our practical approach. Hello friends and welcome. In this part of the video, we are going to see what is the page layout setting in Power BI. Alright, so let me show you how it is done. The very basic setting that we can see is if I go under the view tab and under the view tab we have the page view. So it decides whether how this particular page should look like. So if I click on this drop down menu, I basically see there are three options. One is fit to page that we can see already. All these reports are being subjected in such a way that it, it cannot uh, move more than this. So it is actually fitting to the exact size of the screen that we are seeing out here. Now if I click on this drop down menu and click on actual size, it acquires 1 is to 1 ratio. Now as you can see, if I scroll right, it is giving me a bigger page with bigger projections. Alright guys, so this is what it does when I shift it to the actual size. If I click on this drop down menu and if I say fit to width, the moment you click on fit to width, it everything gets occupied in that width itself and it does not allow me to increase the size of this page. So there are three options from where you can select fit to page, fit to width or actual size depending on what kind of page you will be working on. So as of now we will keep it on the standard that is fit to page and I will get a layout like this also. Now if I want to see the more settings behind this like how, what are the different options that we have under the page layout I have to simply click on this blank section such that the page properties can be seen. Now if I go under this format section you can see there is a page information page size and page background. Let's go there one by one. If I click on this drop down menu, drop down menu for the page information, from here I can actually change the name of this page. As you can see out here I have page one, page two, page three. You can create n number of projection but I need to sort them according to the names that what it is talking about. So if I want to change the name of this particular projection, I can simply name simply change the name by just giving a backspace and typing the name like uh, sample1 something of that sort alright and I'll simply hit enter the moment I hit enter you can see the name has changed already and it's showing me the page name as sample1 alright this was the one thing also if I go under this uh, page size uh, drop down menu now if I click on this page drop down menu by default it is taking 16 is to 9 uh, ratio but if I click on this drop down menu I have so many options I have 4 is to 3 which looks like something of this sort right if I click on this drop down menu if I do it Cortana see what happens in Cortana view it is giving me a size of this so you must be wondering why it is named as Cortana the reason being whenever you hit the start button and whenever you search a toolbar in the start button it uh, generally appears something of like this sort Right, if I click on this Cortana, you can see this is basically what it is 
talking about it is the same exact size of this particular page so this will be or sometimes be useful for you guys when you are looking forward for many projections and in the next page you can get the maximum projection that is the detailed projection of the mini projection that you see out here all right uh, so this is why the Cortana is used for let's say take a letter projection so this will be in the form of a letter in which the projection there might be uh, the projection might not fit the page sometime but we have to make sure that in order to get this kind of projection we have to adjust our projection in such a way that it gets adjusted and we can print a letter and send it via print out as well alright guys so this is how it is done with the help of the letter print layout view I will go under this drop down menu get this page uh, info I'm sorry the page size and get it back to by default that is 16 is to 9 or I can also give it a custom page uh, width where I can define how much should be the width in pixel and how much should be the height in pixel now this is sometimes is useful in such a way that whenever I would like to have a page like if our company is having a certain uh, standard marks that it should be always in uh, 800 width pixel and 1000 width pixel uh, 1000 height pixel so I will set up my pixels according to my company standards and you can get the results accordingly okay so this is how you can change the size of the page I will get it back to normal that is 16 is to 9 which will look like this and get my projection back to alright so let me get this sorted out very quickly so these are the things which you can do under these two tabs the third tab which I wanted to show you under this page layout if I go under this page layout you can see there is something called as page background now you can either uh, set an image for this that at the background of your uh, uh, reports there should be an image it can be a company logo or it can be certain colors or we can also set a uh, color out here or we can also set a image out here okay so if you want to add a picture let's say add images right if you click on this uh, this drop down menu comes into picture I say logo I get it behind so the company's logo can be seen, seen at the back end of your projection let's say that it's too the loud and it is very much uh, darker so I can even fade it out with this transparency option which will fade this thing out a little bit and so that I get a company's logo behind my projection which will make it look much more uh, authentic alright guys so this was about uh, how to add images and how to add color now if I want to select a certain standard color let's say blue and if I try to apply this blue color at the big background it automatically gives the blue color in the background itself so you can either add a picture or I can add either add a color depending on what you are looking forward for so guys this was all about the page layout report like how what are the options that we see and what we can use in Power BI Hopefully you guys like this video. See you until next time.